Now we're going to take a look at a real-world use of an array of character pointers. And we've already looked at it a little bit, but let's take a little closer look. This is the argc and argv, the argument count and argument vector array. The argc is the number of command line items that have come into our program from the outside world. We are going to use both of these heavily when we get to a later chapter and we talk about using C programming on the web, because when you submit a request to a website by typing in a URL and pro providing parameters, those parameters come into your program through the argument vector. And the argument count will tell you how many parameters are on the request line that uh, comes in from the internet. So this will be very important to us later on. We're just going to do a simple little program right now though called echo and uh, the way you would run it is you can see there echo hello world would print out hello world. Here's the program pretty simple. We include standard I.O. and here we're going to get our int uh, argc and our character ar array of pointers, argv, or argument vectors, what it's normally called. You of course could call these whatever you want, but most C programmers are going to stick with this uh, definition, uh, this standard, and use argc and argv. Uh, C doesn't care what you call these, just that there is an integer and a character array, pointer array in that order. While, here in here, while we decrement the argument count, if that is still greater than zero, then we have something to say. We have something to print. And we're going to print two strings together. One of them will be the contents of the incremented argument vector. So we will increment that pointer. And since it points to a number of string pointers, it will go from one word to the next to the next off of our command line. argv sub zero is the name of our program itself. Well, we don't want that. Uh, we don't care about sub zero. We want the first word, and that is why we do a pre-increment right here. If the argument count is greater than one, we print a space in this second string. Otherwise, we print an empty character in here just to fill out the percent S. And then uh, that's the while just controls the one statement. So that will run through all of our arguments and then we'll finish off with a new line and exit the program. So let's go take a look at that. Here is echo.c. It's all the same thing we, we just looked at. Here we'll come to our compile. Compile and link it. Links and compiles just fine. And it prints out every one of our arguments without printing out the name of the program, just the way it's supposed to work. We said echo, hello world, this is a test. Hello world, this is a test. Is every one of our command line parameters just the way it was supposed to work. It's nice when that happens in a language now and then.